All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome oh back. God, son. And fellas, today we are going to talk about something pretty shocking. Modern Warfare 2022, right? The game that it seems like everyone's hating on. And it's such a bad game and the developers don't listen and they have the probably the worst post-launch support for 6v6 I've ever seen in my life. And you're gonna be everyone's like, what the heck are the developers doing, man? Are these developers tone deaf? Are they stupid? Yada yada yada. Well, they must be the smartest people in the world. Because according to what Charlie Intel put out today, January 2023, top 20 best-selling premium games. I still don't know if you could call this game premium, to be honest, but according to the list, Call of Duty finishes number one again in January. But before we get into the list, we're gonna peel it back layer by layer. We've got to talk about the content that's dropping, fellas. So what's today? The 13th. So in two more days, we are getting some content for 6v6 multiplayer here in COD 2022. Um, and it looks like <laughs> uh, recycled content, man. I never really went over it. I'm going to touch on it briefly right now. It looks like we are getting Dome 6v6, which is, you know, it's recycled, but Dome was a decent map. Dome will be a much welcome addition to this game. I'll take it. Whatever. We're getting the Valderas Museum 6v6 map back. And I still don't know if you call this a 6v6 map. I hated it in the beta. It was huge. Personally, I think it's trash. So we're getting Dome. We're getting one good map uh, in two more days for this game. Thank goodness. Because I am so sick and tired of playing on the same, like, 10 maps that this game only has. It's boring as hell. And then we're getting these two other maps. Al Malik International and Zaya Observatory. And these are known as battle maps. And I, I got to be completely honest with you guys. I've been playing Call of Duty since 2007. I really have no idea what a battle map is. Does anybody know what a battle map is? Drop down the in the comment section, man. Drop down. And we're getting new recycled game modes. Infected. It should have shipped with the game. Gun game. Should have shipped with the game. <laughs> Drop zone. All or nothing. One in the chamber. And grind. I mean, these are all... These aren't new. These are all recycled game modes that they ripped out of the game and are dripping back to us as content. This is hilarious. Look at the way we get treated. We get treated like absolute dog shit in this game, man. And it's Call of Duty still the best selling. I just don't get it. I really don't, man. <laughs> so we're getting uh, two recycled maps and two other maps that are battle maps. No idea. All recycled game modes. And we're getting some weapons here. We're getting the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. The KV Broadside Shotgun, which I'm hoping is good. The Crossbow. <laughs> crossbow cheese? Come on in. If this crossbow is anything like the Black Ops 4 crossbow, I'm going to be very happy. We're getting a couple of Katana Swords that I'll probably never use. And we're getting a Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. I hope it's not another sniper rifle hiding as a marksman rifle like the SAB. All you nerds that only use the SAB in Modern Warfare 2 that think you're a good sniper. <laughs> Please, son. Please. That is the most baby-proofed. Sniper masquerading as a marksman rifle I've ever seen in my life. Y'all are garbage if you think you're good snipers with an SAB, especially if you don't use a scope. It's the easiest gun in the game to use by far. I could probably get that thing gold in 20 minutes. Anyway, so there you go, fellas. That's the weak-ass, drip-fed content we're getting for Modern Warfare 2022. Nothing new. Again, we are in the middle of February. Still haven't seen a new map for this game, which is absolutely pathetic. I mean, I guess those battle maps are kind of new, but what, what, what? Still, I don't know what a battle map is. Is that like, is that something for Warzone? I, I have no idea. It was in the multiplayer section. Uh, someone needs to tell me what a battle map is, man. No idea. So moving right along, fellas. Let's get into the list, man. So I saw this and I just shook my head, bro. Can't believe it, man. Modern Warfare 2022. They can't keep getting away with it, damn it. But somehow they always do, man. They are the number one selling game. In January of 2023. Let's take a look at the competition, man. Now, these are just physical sales. These do not include digital. So I don't know if they included digital, what this list would look like, but just want physical copies. I don't even know anyone who buys physical copies anymore. I buy everything digitally. I don't know anyone who buys physical. I mean, you should buy COD physically. That way you could return it after you played it for a couple of days and realize it's garbage. But Call of Duty is number one. Dead Space 2023 coming at number two. Yo, I played the original Dead Space, and that was a damn good game. Okay, Sledgehammer Games actually made a hit. Not, not with Call of Duty, but with Dead Space. Dead Space was nice. I think Sledgehammer made Dead Space, right? 
And then we've got Madden NFL 23 coming in at number three. We got FIFA 23 and then Fire Emblem Engage rounding out the top five. And then at number six, Elden Ring, which is amazing because this game came out like a year ago. I've beaten this game like five times over. It is absolutely incredible. I love this game. And unlike Call of Duty, which starts off easy and stays easy <laughs> and gets harder as you go along, I mean, Elden Ring starts off hard and gets easy the better you get at it. It's the exact opposite of Call of Duty skill-based matchmaking. See, Kyle, when you first start playing it and you're dropping Predator missiles your first game, you're like, wow, this game's fun. This game's great. It's easy. Nah, but then as you get better, the game gets harder because the skill-based matchmaker starts bending you over. With uh, Elden Ring, the second you start off, you're getting bodied by, like, you know, low-level uh, NPCs. And then uh, <laughs> the better you get, the more gear you get, the more spells you unlock, the more, and you just get better and more powerful. And, and the game is it's awesome. It's, it's pretty much skill-based matchmaking in reverse. Uh, I highly recommend that everyone plays Elden Ring, man. It's a fantastic game. And then you got Forspoken. I have no idea what that game is. Uh, should I check that out, fellas? Let me know in the comment section. And God of War Ragnarok coming at number eight. Dude, the God of War franchise is one of the best. The very best. Uh, it is amazing, man. Kratos is an absolute savage. And then we got One Piece Odyssey and then Pokemon coming in at number 10. The Last of Us Part 1 still on the charts. And Last of Us Part 1, I didn't beat the game the whole way through. I played like halfway through. And then for whatever reason, I stopped. But I remembered, man, it was incredible. I need to go back and finish that game. The Last the Last of Us is an amazing game. Uh, Sonic Frontiers at number 12. Monster Hunter Mario Kart. Minecraft! Minecraft! Still clocking in in the top 15. This game came out in 2010, and it's still charting. <laughs> that is just absolutely legendary. Need for Speed, Just Dance. NBA 2K23 all the way down here. Marvel Spider-Man. Miles Morales, the first game that my son ever played. Fantastic game. And uh, NHL 23. Yo, where's GTA 5, man? GTA 5 not in the top 20 best-selling premium game list? I don't think I've ever seen that before. GTA 5 finally fell off? But see, fellas, this is why Call of Duty's not changing. Because you guys keep buying this trash. You keep buying this game and not playing it and complaining about it. And that's why they're never going to fix anything. Because it always finishes number one. It's always number one. Post-launch support garbage. They released half unfinished garbage games. And see, here, here's the SAB. As I was telling you guys about, man, look at this. Th that This is a marksman rifle? Look at this. That <laughs> thing goes around disintegrating people. Anyway, what do you guys think of this list? Drop down the comment section. This is why Activision and Infinity War will never change. You guys keep buying this trash, man. You guys need to stop. I know y'all ain't going to buy Sledgehammer's game in 2023, are you? After they just milked you for... Seventy to hundred dollars for this? You gonna drop another seventy to hundred on Sledgehammer's next offering after Van Garbage? Come on now, fellas. I hope you're smarter than that. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about all this stuff. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>